Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to make the electric eel wheel mini even more portable than it typically is. So normally you plug the mini into the wall using this port and uh, that makes it a little, a little less portable because you have to have a, a wall outlet, but you can just as easily uh, buy a battery and plug it in to this socket and I'm going to talk about the different options there today. So here is the power supply that comes with the Mini. And you can see that it's a 9 volt DC 1 amp. And it actually never uses 1 amp. 1 amp is the maximum, so it always uses 9 volts. But uh, the, in typical uh, use, it uses between 200 and 300 milliamps. So uh, you just need that last number, the amps, to be bigger than 300 milliamps really and then the other important thing is this plug that goes into the mini so this um, is called a, a 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter jack so that means the outer diameter is 5.5 millimeter and the inner diameter uh, pin is 2.1 millimeter uh, you could also have a, a 2.5 uh, millimeter inner pin and uh, that would also work as well. Um, it'll just be a little looser on the, the socket there. So um, with that kind of information, you know you need to get a plug, but what kind of batteries can you use? So one option is you need nine volts, so why not just use a standard nine volt battery? And that's uh, kind of what this option does. So I don't have any rechargeable ones, but I did, look online and uh, rechargeable ones typically have uh, around 900 or 600 milliamps of power uh, so what that means is that a battery like this in the rechargeable variety or the alkaline actually the alkaline have about the same life but i wouldn't recommend using those because um, they only last about it's, it's in theory it's two hours but in reality you'll get something more like an hour and a half of battery life from one of these which is quite a lot um, if you've got a couple of them and they're rechargeable so this is a good option um, for people so you get this kind of a cable on Amazon um, you would just um, I'll, I'll put a link in the, the notes about this but um, basically uh, you get the right kind of connector on this end which I mentioned it's a 5.5 millimeter uh, by 2.1 millimeter jack and then you get a 9 uh, volt battery connector on the other end you just get that on like Amazon or something I'll, I'll provide some links on that kind of information and uh, then you plug it in and you turn it on and you're spinning you can spin anywhere you want and like I said this kind of battery will last um, about uh, an hour and a half or so and you know a few of the rechargeable ones and you'd, you'd be good to go in a lot of places in a really tiny package um, another battery option is something like this so these are usually called uh, power bricks they're often used to to charge your phone they've got some USB ports and, and whatnot but what you need to do um, if you're getting one of these for the uh, electric eel wheel mini is you need to make sure that it has a nine volt option. So this one does, um, and I'll put a link to this one. It can go um, either 12 volts or at nine volts. So the nine volts is a bit more rare, um, but there's definitely some out there like this one that has that option. Um, you plug it in and plug this into the mini. And again, you're good to spin. Now this kind of thing, um, I haven't tested, but I'm sure that it'll last well over 10 hours. Uh, battery life with this kind of a battery pack. Um, these aren't that expensive. Uh, there's uh, quite a few options for these out there. Although the main thing you wanna check for, again, is that it has a, a nine volt output option. That's gonna be the thing that's um, a lot of these options uh, won't have. So make sure if you're getting one of these. If you do run things at 12 volts, it, it doesn't immediately, um, seem like anything is wrong it'll run a little faster but the motor over time will get too hot and you could damage the motor 
um, if you run it at, at 12 volts for a long period of time. So uh, that's why you want to make sure you're running um, things at 9 volts instead of 12 volts. And the last option I'm going to talk about is for the car. So this is called an inverter. Again, tons of options for these online. This is um, the uh, the way these are measured are in watts, and pretty much anyone you find will have enough watts to power this thing. Uh, this is a 150 watt one, um, which is way way more than you need. But uh, what you would do here is you'd plug this end into your car, and then you would just plug the power supply that came with the mini into the outlet and then you'd plug this into this end and then you could uh, spin when you're in the car. Um, so that's a good option for a car. So uh, the three options we covered are, you know, this simple connector so you can use a 9 volt battery, uh, this uh, more expensive but longer lasting rechargeable uh, battery pack option and then an inverter if you want to use it in the car. So hopefully those will cover a lot of options. Uh, there are definitely other options, uh, so feel free to leave some notes in the comments if you've got other ideas or if you've got questions about other things um, on whether they would work to power the Mini, you know, just um, leave a comment and I'll be happy to um, say whether I think that option will work or not. One last thing before we go, um, I'll put this in uh, the Kickstarter post, but uh, this bobbin in here is actually a 3D printed bobbin. So um, this means if you've got a 3D printer that um, are kind of uh, getting more and more popular every day now, then you can print your own bobbins for the Mini. And I'm going to share a file that allows you to print this particular bobbin and uh, hopefully you know that'll help some people so i'll give give the file away for free so other people can um, print more bobbins if they want thanks for watching